how's it going patrons moved half the fish or around about 24 of the remaining silver perch from their tank into the jade perch tank today i was filming a clip for youtube i don't know how well it went i was trying to get um, some of the deformities on camera just so i could show people because i have been asked by one chap down in melbourne he was a bit worried about showing photos of his silver perch because they had bent tails um, it's just a scoliosis a common deformity that some hatchery fish get i wanted to show also to the um, axe head which is where it looks like the fish has been hit um, on the head they got a little bit of a forehead and then some puckered lips down below and the other one was scoliosis and paintbrush tail i did pull out a nice large paintbrush tailed fish uh, it's basically when they the the um, top and bottom of the fin don't develop i did a clip on one ages ago that had paintbrush tail all these people were telling me that had been picked on by other fish and whatnot but i spoke to a uh, person in new south wales fisheries and they assured me that it's actually quite common in hatchery fish uh, especially when they don't um, rotate their breeding stock and a little bit of inbreeding happens so um that was the plan of the clip but it doesn't look like it'll um it'll come to pass i found the paintbrush a small one uh, i didn't see any axe heads and the one with scoliosis that i did see he came out in one of the last the last or the second last nets that had uh, four fish in it so i didn't want to go digging through a net stressing fish out to try and find one to show to the camera so anyway i'll give you a bit of a look at some of the vision uh, i dropped the camera in the tank before i split them up the vision from the underwater cam was a bit dodgy on the weekend so i thought i'd just take a little bit more for you folks this is from tank A, we'll call it. This is the silver perch tank, the original one. So I'm hoping that the uh, camera is angled right and we can see what we're doing down there. I think there's probably around about 30-ish fish left in here. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to count it from the vision, but we'll have a crack and see how many. We did end up with uh, 59 from memory originally when we counted them across from the fish farm. And we did take out that one small one that was struggling last summer during the heat. And it had the paintbrush tail I showed you the picture of earlier in the clip. So I'll take the camera out now and we'll pop it into the, um, what was the Jade Perch tank. So I was pretty pleased on how easy it was to um, catch these guys. Then again, as Bianca said, it was sort of like catching fish in a barrel. There was that many fish in the bottom of the small tank and I'd let half the water out too. So the other thing that I have noticed is these silver perch on their gill plates, they do have a tendency to um, catch the net. There's something on their gill plates that's just a little bit rougher and the net was getting caught in it. So I'm thinking about getting a different net. With the jade perch, I didn't have a problem at all. This is the first time I've actually netted these fish in this net. So yeah, I suppose it's all a learning curve. So there you go folks, there's a bit of a look at the silvers in the tank. Um, I've decided that I will upload a clip on the weekend. I found some old vision that I can take stills from with more um, deformities just to let people know that, you know, this sort of thing does happen with hatchery fish. So hopefully that'll be uploaded on the weekend. I hope you've enjoyed that little bit of a look and that you're all well and happy and I'll catch you later online. Cheers folks, have a great one. Seven. Eight. Nice size fish, some of these.